What's going on guys? We're here in Yakinville, North Carolina. We're gonna do a little bit of four-wheeler racing today. Um, I've never done this flat track stuff like we're about to do today. I've done a little bit of motocross, uh, you know, riding through dirt trails and stuff, but I've never actually raced a TT bike at one of these tracks. So we're out here with Kyle and Eric and their families, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun today. Um, I'm gonna race D class, which I guess is the slowest class, and I'll be in the back the whole time, but I'm gonna strap the GoPro to the helmet and hopefully it stays on, hopefully it doesn't get run over. But uh, just a little weekend of goofing off. So we're gonna have some fun. Hope you guys enjoy it. Come on, Jeff Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so obviously had a little bit of an accident at the racetrack, and uh, today is Thursday. The accident happened Saturday, and I'm just now really able to get up and around and get moving. So uh, first of all, I just want to say be sure that you wear safety gear. If I wouldn't have had the gear on that I did, I'd be in a lot worse shape than I'm in, even though I'm in pretty bad shape. So you can probably see my shoulders all skinned up. I'm also wearing a back brace and I was wearing a neck brace and an arm sling so uh, before I get into the injuries I just want to have a huge thank you to everyone that helped me at the racetrack to get me stable get me uh, you know in a sling 
get me off the track and get me into the ambulance. Uh, there was a lot of people that helped out. Um, Kyle and Eric were both there helping me. Randy and Christina and Kendall both helped me. Um, Kendall stayed with me at the hospital, never left me. And I really do appreciate the help that I got from all my friends there. Um, and there were a couple guys at the track that I don't know that helped me diagnose what was wrong with my arm, got me in a sling, and got all that taken care of. So as far as injuries go, when I first got to the hospital, they put me in uh, ICU because they didn't know everything that was wrong with me. It was obvious that I had a broken collarbone, but they weren't sure uh, what else passed that. So what they ended up finding was I had two bones broken in my shoulder, um, one in the front, one in the back. So a normal collarbone injury and then the scapula in uh, the back of my shoulder is fractured. It hasn't moved out of place, but it's fractured. Um, after x-rays and CT scans, uh, they found that I chipped a vertebrae in my neck and I fractured a vertebrae in my back, which is why I'm wearing this back brace. And I have to remain in this for four to eight weeks. Um, I have to go back to the hospital every two weeks to get it checked out. And then they'll tell me if I need to wear it or don't need to wear it. So uh, technically I have a broken back and a broken shoulder uh, as a result of that crash. So this wasn't my first time riding four wheelers. Uh, this was my first time at this racetrack and I'm gonna be honest, inexperience is what bit me. So the, the track was loose, I was able to slide around corners, I was able to get the bike to kick sideways and then within a lap the track got tight. So what happened was, and what I'll replay again, is I tried to slide the bike into the corner a little bit early and instead of it sliding it grabbed and what happened is the bike just tumbled over um, not sure if it landed on top of me not sure if it rolled past me but I know I rolled at least a couple of times hard enough to really mess myself up. I will be okay. Um, I'm going to be off work for about a couple of weeks. I do plan on going in every day and, you know, helping the guys out the best that I can, but I can't be on my feet for very long, so I'll be at the desk uh, there in the office. Uh, this just kind of slows everything down, you know. It's not really good timing for anyone, um, but accidents do happen. I'm glad that I am able to still talk to you guys. I'm glad I'm not hurt worse than I am. Um, no surgeries are required for my injuries so uh yeah just want to again say be sure you wear your safety equipment if i would have been wearing cheap equipment or if i would have not worn some of the equipment that i had on i could have a broken leg uh, my neck could be in a lot worse shape so be sure you wear your safety equipment and thanks again to everyone that's helped me out uh you know i've had friends offer to cook for me friends come over and cut my grass uh, my mom is actually in town from michigan helping take care of me so everyone that's been helping me thanks a lot and uh i'm gonna try to film some stuff while i'm down i plan on going up to rpm today and seeing what they got going on and see if i can make any videos on some stuff they've got going but taking it easy for the next couple weeks so if you guys don't see a video from me that's probably why so yeah i want to thank you guys for watching this video take care of yourselves be sure you wear your safety equipment and uh, i'll update you guys on my condition at least if i don't do any tech videos or anything like that um, so stay tuned and we'll see you next time.